<laughs> Shine is here with me, but we're shopping for Christmas things. I now crown you the queen. As you should. I'm not but you just queen my head. <laughs> you just queen junior. Get it. I'm not getting that. <laughs> oh look, pink pillow, Savannah. We we'll love that. Yes, you get the little one, and I'll get the big one. <laughs> look at these pink Santa Clauses, Cheyenne. Oh, that is cute. Oh, too bad my stuff is not pink. Yeah. For y'all that don't know, Savannah is in love with the color pink. So we're just like, and she's at work right now. That's why she's not with us. But she would love these. That is cute, Cheyenne. Good morning, happy Saturday. So it's still quite early, it's about 10 o'clock, but um, I'm gonna get started on the eggnog. We are putting up the tree today, as you guys seen me clean up the little area for it. And usually I make the eggnog while we're putting up the tree and all that, but usually I miss out on the festivities and the decorating sometimes because I'm trying to go back and forth. And there have been times where I burned the eggnog because I'm focusing on the tree and all that so today I'm gonna do it a little bit different I'm gonna have the eggnog eggnog already ready and then when the girls get up and back Savannah is out running errands then we will put up the tree so yeah I'm excited and yeah let's get this eggnog started <laughs>
Sunday. Um, I'm mostly ready for church. Um, I just have a few more things to get done. Anyway, I'm up early because the power went out last night a few times and the last time it went out, like around 6.30ish, I just decided to get up because my machine turned off and I don't like sleeping without it because it helps with the apneas. So I just got up and I showered and I just started piddling around the house. Lights came back on and now I'm just up. So yeah, and doing laundry. Um, I probably should do dishes from last night because we did put up the Christmas tree and we baked cookies and you know the eggnog and stuff like that and well the eggnog's in the fridge but you know the it's just the dinner dishes from last night and I usually do it the next day you guys didn't ask sometimes I'll do it at night but most times I'll do it the next day just because I can <laughs> and yeah so anyway I probably should get up and do that that way I won't have to do it after church today but we'll see anyway I'm just watching things on YouTube enjoying the Christmas feel it's only me and Cheyenne that's here right now Cheyenne's still asleep Savannah went to church early because she has um, chorale practice she sings this morning so you know they practice before service so she's already left and so yeah but it's an early start to my day I have my coffee already and my water good morning you guys today is Monday I am on my lunch break um, it's 10 to 15 today I am leaving well I'm clocking off at 11 o'clock because I have an appointment at 1130 to go pick up a BiPAP machine which is pretty much the same thing as a CPAP machine but the pressure can go higher from my understanding that's what it does um, I'm gonna ask more questions today but the reason why I am getting a loaner BiPAP machine from Kaiser is because my CPAP machine is working fine and I do feel better but I still feel sleepy sometimes throughout the day and it's not going to cut out all sleepiness for example if I go to bed late and I'm tired the next day then that's on me but a lot of times I will get a full eight hours or maybe a little bit more and I'm still yawning like not maybe not immediately but you know so something needs to be done so they're gonna do that I had the option of getting that machine or doing a because it's called the in-home testing or I could have gone to Kaiser and spent the night and I'm like why would I do that if I mean if I had to I would but if they're gonna do the same thing and I could be at home then I'm gonna be at home so yeah we're gonna do that well I'm gonna do that today pick that up and then start using it and then hopefully it will work and then I will be able to upgrade just swap out machine my machine or however it works or whatever so anyway that's what I am doing today and yeah I cannot wait for this week to be over with well this work week today this week is Thanksgiving and Tyreek and Taylor will be here I think I told you guys that and if not I'm telling you now so I'm excited and I am cooking but I'm not cooking a lot I'm um, just enough for us to you know have family fun and be together and stuff like that and not have to worry about my job oh my goodness you guys I know I don't complain as much as I used to about my job my job they be doing some weird things insane crazy and right now everyone is on edge and it's low morale because of everything that they're doing and the managers and the supervisors aren't making it any better they're calling things like enhancements or um, what she said uplifting and I don't know if I got back to you guys about what she wanted me to do but she wanted me to be the face of dental and go to some of the managers meetings and you know let them know this and that but with no pay no extra pay I told her respectfully I declined like I figured more work no pay and it's like 
yeah. And so they'll use these big words like they use enhancements in the email for us and there's nothing enhanced. The email said something about upcoming enhancements for the team and to make it sound all positive, but everything was a negative and they're taking away so much stuff from us. How's that an enhancement? Anyway, and then I think I did tell you guys this, they're talking about trying to make us go back into the office full time, not even the hybrid schedule that we had before, two days a week going in and then the rest at home. And it's like, you know what? It, it frustrates me. And then, <laughs> Because right now we go in on Wednesdays for half a day, right? So at first they told us we, we can go in on Wednesdays at the time we normally start at home. And then we can print and do whatever. And then when we're done, we can leave. Now it's you have to stay until 11 o'clock. So tomorrow's Tuesday, right? So we're swapping off Wednesday for Tuesday because it's Thanksgiving. So she said, you know, we can work from home that day. But then tomorrow... We're having a Thanksgiving potluck starts at 1130. So yeah, yeah. So I'm in the sleep lab and I guess this is where I would sleep if I was here overnight. But they told me to come into this room and close the door. So um, I hope they know I'm not here to sleep. Okay, so here's the machine. And it's the same process as the other one. But of course it looks different, so yeah. And for this one, they want to monitor my oxygen level. So I'm going to have to sleep with this on my finger for the next five nights. And it just comes with an extension cord. They gave me a new mask and I have the tubing already because their tubing sucks. So I'd rather use mine. So I will use this tonight for the next five days and hopefully I will see a change like immediately. Yeah. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Just letting the car warm up a little bit before I take off. Um, going into the office today, um, even though today is not my regular day to go in. Um, I think I told you guys this. They're having a potluck today, and the email we got about the enhancements. We can't leave until 11, but they're making a the potluck at 11:30. Yeah, there are no enhancements. I hate when they try to use all these fancy words to make it seem like things are benefiting us and it's really not. And I'm thankful I have a job, I do. Especially because of all the layoffs they've been doing and whatever, I am thankful. Don't get me wrong on that. But at the same time, we have crappy management. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it. People don't leave jobs because of the actual work, because the actual work that I do, I like doing it. I don't have to deal with a dentist. I don't have to deal directly with um, the public, meaning the patients coming in, which I kind of miss that sometimes because you get some cool patients sometime and hear their stories and stuff like that. But um, I don't have to do all that. But they are, yeah, yeah, let me just leave it at that. Um, I need lotion, my hands are really dry. Y'all, woke up with a pimple here. Then I kind of scratched at it a little bit. Not scratched at it, but tried to clean it up. Yeah, I'm trying to show up to the party. Disrespectful didn't ask for you to be here good morning everyone happy Thursday happy Thanksgiving by the time you guys see this hopefully you would you will have had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and friends anyway I prepared everything last night and I didn't show that but the ham is in the oven and we're not doing turkey this year because number one we really don't eat all of it 
and when I cook turkey is not as good as when I think someone else does it so yeah but I'm not having like everyone over this year like I've done before it's just gonna be me and my children and Taylor which is Tariq's girlfriend so um, they're gonna be here a little bit later but yeah and this right here is Savannah's turkeys tofurkey is that how you say it I'm pretty sure we got this the first year she was a vegan and she didn't like it I think she said it tasted like hot dogs and this smells like a hot dog but I have it in here because instead of keeping it whole, I sliced it and we seasoned it. Hopefully it'll be better. And then it also came with a glaze. It says an amber ale glaze. See right there. So hopefully by us doctoring it up, it will be better. But she has a few more things coming from Sprouts today as well. But yeah you guys today's thanksgiving and the thanksgiving day parade is on early it usually starts around nine but i don't know if this is a pre-show or whatever i don't know but yeah we have the vegan stuffing for savannah and plant-based mac and cheese okay so we have our stuffing this is savannah stuffing that's in here mac and cheese for savannah this is the ham. Oh my goodness, I tried it already, you guys. It tastes so good. Look at that. I'm gonna put it back in the oven for maybe about mm, 20 more minutes. Maybe I won't, I don't know. Anyway, in the oven, I have the Smokies, Little Smokies. I'll show you guys that when it's done. And Savannah's Tofurkey. Is that how you say it? I'm probably saying it wrong, but Tofurkey, to yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And Tyreek and Taylor are an hour away. So they will be here shortly. Um, I'm trying to make sure everything is done by the time they get here. I think the only thing that we need to make is the green beans and potatoes. So, yeah. And Cheyenne's making that, so I don't have to worry about making that. Ooh, it is so hot in here. I had to open up that door right there and then the windows because it's hot. And yes, my oven is on. I know that's the reason why, but... Yeah, everything is almost done. <laughs> so here is the dinner. I didn't make much this year, but it's good. Tark is on his way with the roll, so we'll have that. He has dessert and drinks, so yes. Like, it's not messed up. It's do true. I look like that? Okay, no, we're not gonna watch this perform like monkeys no more. <laughs> okay, tonight is night four, I believe. Yes, with the loner machine. This is where I'm keeping it, and I think I showed you guys it comes with a oxygen meter, whatever you call that, that I have to sleep with on my finger. So I've been doing that. Mine is up here, but this is the loner one, the BiPAP machine. Mine is called the CPAP machine, and so far, you guys, so far throughout the day, I am not tired. So... Yes, I will be having them get me one. I don't know if it's an upgrade. It's a swap with my old one, but I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, you guys, um, so far it's working. Hi, guys. So today is Friday. It's Black Friday. Look who, whose car I'm in. Y'all should already know what's going on. And I'm going to Barnes and Noble. I have no business in Barnes and Noble. I have 10 books on deck to read. So I ended up getting these two books, The Silent Patient and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And this is, what'd you say? My recommendation. Okay, here, Savannah in the back. My recommendation. Yes, she recommended both of these books. This one here is a trilogy. And I will go back to get the other ones if I like them. I'm pretty sure I will. But this one intrigued me, and I guess it's going to be a movie made after this. Yes, it is. So, yeah, I can't wait to read both of these. But it's going to be in my to-be-read pile because I'm still on House of Leaves. Okay, so it's later on in the evening, and um, it's still a day after Thanksgiving, duh. And... We are actually going to 
They used to call it Global Winter Wonderland, but they changed the name. So we're going to that and I'm trying to figure out everything to put on. Well, not everything to put on, but warm clothes. So I already have started with the turtleneck and I just got to have warm clothes because it's supposed to be in the 40s tonight. I think I checked and by 9 o'clock it's supposed to be like 44 degrees. 10 degrees warmer than the last time we went, which I don't know if I was vlogging then. I may have been, but that's when I passed out for the first time. If I was vlogging at that time, I will link that video below. Yeah, let me figure out what I'm wearing and Savannah's at work when she gets off. She is not working late tonight. Then we're gonna go and Tyreek and Taylor are gonna meet us here. We're all gonna go together. So I'm so excited. Just a boy, Christmas brought so much joy Couldn't wait for the presents and laughter I couldn't sleep late at night Looking for Santa with lights Those are the memories I still remember Then I became a man Lost sight of who I am But right in front of me was the Joe 